Well, thank you for joining us here for this uh, Friday. And this is, um, you know, first week of devotionals for the two, 2023. Time has flown by, um, but we're so grateful to the Lord that he's given us a new year and that we have found favor already in it. Amen. And um, I, this, this devotional is really about my prayer that you would have um, for this new year. And that is, it's titled, Know Him. And the scripture is based on Psalm 9, verse number 10, and it says, Those who know your name, trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. And part of growing up, I think, um, are the hard lessons, I guess, that we face in life and, and placing trust in people. And each of us can recall probably when we've trusted someone beyond our comfort. And then in that, some of those stories probably have not turned out well in those relationships. Maybe um, we went south as we call them and where others maybe they turned out fantastic and we have built lifelong relationships because of the fact that they are trusted friends and advisors and people that we have had really solid relationships throughout the year and I think we can look probably back on last year and see how some of the relationships that we have formed have really grown because of this trust but the psalmist tells us that knowing the name of the Lord is to trust in him and more specifically, it says knowing who he is and know how he can be trusted, I think. You know, he's a keeper of promises, folks. And when God makes a promise to you, when God uh, has something planned for your life, he does not abandon um, those things, nor does he abandon those who seek him. Psalm 31 verses 14 and 15 say, But I am trusting you, O Lord, saying you are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who haunt me down relentlessly. This morning, your future is not known. That's the reality. I don't think any of us can know what our future is, even tomorrow. But knowing the Lord, you're placing your future in His hands. Amen? And that's what the scripture is telling us. The Lord is for you, and He will be there to help you in all your circumstances of your life, even in the midst of your enemies. Psalm 118 verses seven and eight say this, yes, the Lord is for me, he will help me. I look, I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. The Lord is here for each of us folks. And sometimes these relationships that we have, that we've built, yes, they're important, but we should never allow them to be trusted more than the relationship that we have with the Lord know him know him and trust him and i promise you as you continue to do that he will continue to pull out the best in you challenge you yes but more importantly grow you in your life i pray that for this year and so with that you know we are going to be launching our next week on monday um, we're going to be having our week of prayer i pray that you're able to join us it is going to be via zoom it is an opportunity for us to come together and grow and learn in him and I pray that you join us. It's so important that we get back to these elements of prayer. And also, we'll be starting our Daniel fast for those of us that want to join a 21 day of fasting. You can do a hybrid. You can fast anything that you want. It could be social media, newspaper, coffee. I don't know what it is that you want to pull from your life and continue. But I challenge you to do something. Don't just say, oh, no, I can't do that. No, 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 you can. Find something that you you hold near and dear to your heart and just let it go. Just let it go for these 21 days as we continue to challenge our lives. Know Him. Amen. Bow your heads with me as we pray. Thank you, O Lord, for all that you continue to do in our lives. And as we approach this new big year, gosh, we're only a few days into it. But Lord, I do believe that there's so much promise in it for us. And as we continue to, to journey into 2023, we begin this week, Father, starting uh, with prayer. And so I pray that you would challenge us, Father, as we start next week. I pray that you speak to our hearts in this new series, Lord, as we continue to receive from you. I'm looking forward, God, for what it is that you want to do in our lives. And I pray that you continue to do that. Pull the best out of us, challenge us, God. Let us hear from you as you speak. I thank you for your word, Father. I pray over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you. And may he give you peace throughout this week. Amen. God bless you.
Well, thank you so much for joining us. And as uh, we started off this first week, I want to remind you this Sunday we do have a new series that we're going into uh, and also launching our week of prayer as well as our Daniel fast. So we're kind of getting right back into the swing of things here for our, our week. And I look forward to seeing you all. So as a reminder, we have service at 10 a.m. on Sunday in person or Facebook Live. And then we begin 7 p.m. our week of prayer from Monday through Friday. Prayer every single night via Zoom as well. Again, one hour of prayer. Seek the Lord, ask for direction for this new year, and then we also uh, will launch our Daniel Fast. So a lot of things happening. I pray that you're able to join them all. Lord bless you.